Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about constructor in Solidity. So what are constructor in Solidity? So constructors are basically special kind of functions which are called by Solidity by default. So these are those functions which we are not calling, but Solidity as a programming language is calling these functions. So let me declare one constructor. And before that, let me declare one state variable. Let's say num. Okay. And let's say I want to change the value of this state variable. So what I can do is I can create this constructor. So as I said, constructor is a special kind of function. And this is something which we do not call, but this is called by the Solidity programming language. So let's say if I will make this value as 10. So what you will see is, so let me compile this first of all. Let me go to deploy. And when I will click on deploy, you will see that now the value of this num is 10. Why? Because now when we deployed our smart contract during the deployment process only, this constructor function got called by the Solidity programming language. Hence, it made the num value from 5 to 10. So you can see here that constructor is a function which is actually being called by the Solidity programming language and we are not calling this function. Now let me make this point more clear by passing some argument to this function. So let's say uint, let's say for example num, okay. So I'm passing this uint num variable. You can name it as abc as well. I'm just giving this underscore num. So what I can do is I can assign the value of num here, okay. Now let me again compile this. Now, when I will go toward the deployment part, you can see that before deployment, I need to pass this num value. Because as I said, constructor is a function that will be called by the Solidity programming language and it will be called during the deployment of our smart contract. Okay, so now in order to run this smart contract, in order to deploy this smart contract, first I need to pass some argument to this constructor so that during the deployment, that argument will get passed to this num value and that num value will get assigned to this num variable that we have declared as a state variable. So let's say I'm passing 100 here and now when I will call deploy, now our smart contract is deployed and now when I will call this num value, you can see that now the value is 100. And this is how constructor works in Solidity. Now let us look at some of the important points related to constructor. First thing is that they get executed only once. So you cannot recall a constructor during the deployment part only constructor function get called. Second thing, you can create only one constructor and that is totally optional. So it is not a must that you need to create a constructor, but you can only create one constructor whenever you are creating a constructor function. Remember this point. And the last point is that if you are not going to create your own constructor, then Solidity will create a constructor for you. Then, then definitely that will not be visible to you, but a constructor will get called a constructor will get created by Solidity by itself. Okay. So remember these points that it get executed only once. You can only create one constructor and that is too optional. And if you are not going to create any constructor in your smart contract, then Solidity will create a constructor for you. Then definitely that constructor will not change any of the values given in your smart contract because that constructor will be, you can think of it as like a invisible kind of constructor. So it will not be making any changes to your smart contract, but still it will be called by the Solidity programming language. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this constructor section. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care, bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below, okay?